Play Stars, and welcome back to another finger painting video. Today we're going to be painting an apple. These are the colors that you'll be needing. Red, yellow, green, orange, white, some paper, and your fingers! There are so many different types of apples, but today we are going to make a Granny Smith apple because I think that they are very delicious, or Macintosh. They look kind of very similar. So we're gonna start off with our red, and we're gonna kind of make a big ball shape, but I'm gonna make it a little flat down here. An apple is kind of like a ball that has a flat bottom, especially if we're gonna make it it doesn't have to be perfect because apples grow on trees and therefore they're natural things and they're not always absolutely perfect. But they're not perfectly red either. Like we like to think of apples as, oh, they're perfectly red, but really they're not. So I'm gonna make some red, put some red on there, and now I'm gonna just start adding other colors. So these types of apples often have bits that are yellow. They'll have like little yellow highlights on them, just different variations. So I'm just gonna blend a little bit of yellow into our apple. I'm making sure that I use round motions, round strokes, so that it goes along with the shape of the apple. You don't wanna go directly across because that would cut it up. We wanna make sure that it goes along with the natural shape of what the apple would have. And if it gets a little bit orange, that's fine. In fact, that's actually really good. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll blend a little bit of orange there. I threw these different colors on so that we would have different options. You know, maybe some areas are a little bit or, more orange than just yellow. See, like that. Throw a little bit of orange there. And you can even throw a little bit of green in. Now, usually you have to be a little bit careful playing with green and red next to each other, but in little doses, I think it can be okay as long as you make sure that the paint's not super thick because green and red can make a very weird brown color if you're not careful. But if you use it sparingly and then you go back over using other colors like yellow to blend it out and just make it look like it works nicely, it will work nicely. You can use these colors that would seem taboo otherwise. Yeah. So, we're getting that there. I'm gonna throw a little bit more yellow over here just to make it a little bit more imperfect. These are always my favorite apples because I just find they're so sweet and delicious to eat. Now I'm gonna make the little stem. I'm gonna take this orange and I'm gonna take the green and mix those together. And we're, we're trying to make this brown color now. I'm gonna take a little bit of red. See, see how all those together make kind of just this weird, weird brown color. We're, we're trying for that right now because we're gonna make the stem. So, taking just the tip of my finger, I'm going to take it and I'm just gonna pull up And I'm going to start here and do a little line and then pull down like so. I'm going to dip into the red. Just go around that little stem area. Just blend it together so it doesn't look quite so harsh. Throw a little bit of yellow so it looks like it goes in So we have that variation like so. Let's give it a little, little leaf too, why not? Throw a little bit of that brown in underneath to add a little bit of shadow to our leaf and a little bit of yellow on top. Give it a little extra definition. And now I'm just gonna take the white cleaning most of the paint off my finger, and I'm just gonna throw a little bit 
of a highlight. And I'm just doing it at the top, kind of where the apple would naturally shine. A little at the top, maybe a little on the side. I'll do a little bit down here as well. That's just gonna make that apple look nice and glossy. Throw a little one on the leaf. And there we go. We have an apple. Ta-da! So simple, so easy, so quick, and it really looks like a special apple that is so delicious, I wanna pick it up off the piece of paper and take a big bite out of it. What do you guys think? How did your apple turn out? I'd love to see it, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Thank you for painting along with me, and until next time, sending you lots of love.